Hello, this is Tim Christensen of Disney is Disney from Denmark, and you're watching Loud TV. Um, it's always been like that because when we started out, we were we were kids. We were 14, 14 years old, um, 13, 14, very young, and we started out as a three-piece band, uh, as we are today. Me uh, on guitar, Martin on bass, Soren on drums, and um, and then we were supposed to to look for a lead singer to to make a, a quartet. Um, but it was difficult to find a guy who wanted to sing um, at the same age as us back then. So uh, we, we, the first year that we um, were together, uh, we, we actually played instrumental, uh, even though the songs that we played did have lyrics to them, but uh, we played it um, instrumental because I didn't want to sing. Um, so when we started to try out different singers for this band, I had to kind of demonstrate what the because I wrote the songs. I had to demonstrate the the song how it was supposed to be sung to the guy who was supposed to be the singer. And when he started to sing them, it, it just sounded like crap. And uh, and when they uh, the the guy left, you know, Soren Martin told me. Why don't you sing the songs yourself? Because it sounds much better when you do it. Uh, it it's obviously you who wrote the song, so it, it just makes more sense. And I was like, I don't want to be the singer in this band. Uh, I want to find another singer to do that. I just want to be the guitar player and be over in the corner <laughs> doing my thing. And that w it was like that for a long time. Um, but uh, because it was difficult to find singers, uh, it ended up with me being the singer, even though I, I didn't want to, wanted to do that. And when we broke in Denmark, uh, it was we, we, we won this Battle of the Band competition in Denmark, and then it just took off immediately after that. And, and, and we got a record deal, and suddenly it was all over the radio, and we were playing big shows all over Denmark. And there was no way back, then I was just suddenly the singer of this band. And it was as, as a three-piece band, and it's been like that since. And now, for for a Danish uh, Dizzy Miss Lizzy fan, it, it, it can't be any different than that. It has to be those three people in the band with me singing the songs. And um, and nowadays, I'm happy to be the, the guitar player and the singer as well. I, I'm glad it turned out that way, so, so there's no problem now. that has to do with because the band uh, has only been popular in, in, in Denmark and Japan so so we know we, we haven't we've never been released international like all over the world um, so I guess yes it might be a little bit difficult to <laughs> that kind of ironic because in, in Denmark this band is huge and in, in it's not huge in Japan but it's it's a it's a pretty big name uh, and in the rest of the world nothing People don't know about this band. It's, I, I need to blame the record company, I think, because back in the day, in, in the 90s, uh, the first time we were around, um, you know, it has to do with the right guy sitting at the right table, at the right office, blah, 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 and he, he, he needs to like the music to, to, you know, kind of release it at in a certain territory or country. And uh, I guess, I don't know, it, did, it just didn't happen. It wasn't a priority back then because everything took off in Denmark and, and there was a lot of things to look after in Denmark. Um, and because it was so sudden, the whole success in Denmark was so sudden, and Japan too, we kind, kind of grew tired of the whole thing very quickly as well. So after the second album and a lot of touring after the second album, we were just fed up with the whole thing and we we were kind of, you know, disagreeing about a lot of things. We kind of developed into three different directions, and and um, so the band broke up, and and bef almost before it even started. <laughs> so, um, but that, but all that has changed now, and uh, you know, we went our separate ways, and, and I started a solo career, I reached uh, four albums, and and did a, did my thing for a long time. 
And then, you know, at the, a couple of years ago, it just fell right to kind of try this band thing again with those three guys and see if anything could happen. And, and it kind of turned out really well. So, it, so, so here we are today, and, and we are kind of, I would say, much more happy about the band today as we were back in the 90s. It makes more, even more sense now than it did back then. Uh, it would be a cliche to say, but but yes, we do that. And uh, I wouldn't say that we have two breakups because the second one wasn't really a breakup. Because I'm supposing that the thing you mean is that in 2010 we did a reunion tour, and that was just you know that was pretty obvious from the beginning that this was going to be a tour only for nostalgic reasons, and it was going to be only material from the first two albums and kind of celebrating old times and 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 with all the fans that uh, kind of missed the, the band so so we were pretty you know s sure about that that was going to be like that um, and then you know a couple of years later when when the whole reunion thing was over um, we talked a little bit about do we want to do this again and yes that would be nice it was a nice thing to do how do we do it again and, and, and what needs to be different if we're going to do it again? And it was pretty obvious that the, the thing that needs, needed to be different was that we needed to include um, some new material in between the old songs. So in all secrecy we went into a, a rehearsing studio in Copenhagen and, and started trying jamming ideas and see if, if anything would happen. And it did, uh, after a little while. In, you know, songs started to pop up and, and it was kind of surprising how good we, we felt it was. And, um, yeah. I mean, they could have, maybe it could have been like that, but it, it, it wasn't because we tried out, you know, old ideas from, from the past when we started up again and trying, do you guys remember this riff that we never used? And we tried to jam that riff and it was like, oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, but it doesn't really feel fresh. So, uh, and we, we did that with a lot of old ideas uh, that, that never turned into songs. And then we just, you know, s yeah, to help with the, everything <laughs> and then just started, you know, all over and, and only new ideas were allowed. So that was kind of like a rule uh, that we didn't want to use old stuff or old leftovers or anything. We just wanted the whole thing to be new. And that's what it is. There's no, you know, old ideas on, on the new album. It is all new. It was nice. I mean, because, you know, we, we had been working on the new material for a while before going into the studio. So we were kind of into it already, kind of. Uh, and we had a nice producer called Jacob Hansen on this uh, album. A very nice guy, a, a few years older than us, but he's very much alike, um, and we kind of, you know, we understand each other really well, and so that was very nice. And um, there was not such a big difference, I, I would say, but maybe that has to do with that we already worked on the on the ideas and songs for a little while before going into the studio. So there was not any, you know, like nerve-wracking vibe or anything of, you know, being back in the studio. Of course, we were kind of, you know, excited about how is this going to sound when it's actually recorded, and, and even more important, how are people going to react to the to the thing? And uh, well, luckily, they, they was the reaction in Denmark was really really good. So, so yeah, that was nice. At the funny thing about it is because when the band started out many years ago, we've, of course we listened to grunge and you know, Nirvana because it was, it was all around at that time. Um, but we also listened to some k types of metal, but, but not the extreme types. Because we went to like, you know, Bon Jovi and Europe and the kind of light metal. Um, Iron Maiden? Iron Maiden, yeah, but that was kind of the limit. It, had, it, it couldn't be harder than Iron Maiden because then it was too, too noisy for me. But now, I don't know, 20 years later, I love, I, I mean, Iron Maiden is like soft rock to me now. I want my metal m much more extreme now. I like, um, 
I mean Slayer, the obvious, uh, of course. And uh, I like Creator from Germany. Um, and I like uh, Gushira, uh, a big fan, huge fan actually. Um, um, so bands like that, I'm, I'm really into, and I find it very inspiring. And even though I'm, I'm a melody kind of guy, and, and a band like Gujira is, 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 is not melodic metal, but, but there's still some nice melody in going on in the guitar riffs and all that. Uh, but that, that doesn't really matter to me because a band like Gujira is, is very inspiring to me because there's so much stuff going on instrumentally as well. So I find very inspiring the way they arrange and uh, the music and, and all that. So I think it's very creative. I, th I feel that the whole genre uh, of metal and maybe even extreme metal is inspiring because it's so creative as it is and it's not computers and <laughs> that's very important to me as well. It doesn't matter whatever uh, where, wherever people want to listen to us to, to see this band. We're the bands listen. are only in Europe for the moment? It's only in France. We're doing a few a few gigs in in the Netherlands or Holland. Mm -hmm. um, Lord Park. Uh, sorry. Lord Park. Yeah, also. not Lord this Park. year. We did. We did. Actually, yeah, we, yeah, last year. Uh, we're going to 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 Japan uh, next summer to play another festival, but then I think that's it for Japan for now, and uh, we're only doing two gigs in Denmark next year because we've been playing so much in Denmark. So. We're going to take a break, and the people need a break <laughs> from 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 this band. So we're going to focus on, you know, uh, making new material and 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 coming to France and also the Netherlands to to uh, maybe even Germany or a few other European countries. 